so hashing we will discuss about hashing and collision techniques so already we discussed about hash functions or hash hash methods so total four hash methods are there one is division modulo method and other is extraction digit extraction method mid square method and folding methods in folding it is divided into two more one is fold shifting method boundary method so when we are when we are using hash functions or hash methods so we are getting key stored in same address or same location in the hash table if we see it so my table is 4 my table empty is m is 4 that is table size is 4 so 0 1 2 3 so now i am using division of modulo method in this method i have case 25 5 and 35 and some 3 so i have four keys so now 25 mod 4 it will give 1 so in address 1 i am keeping this 25 in address 1 i am keeping this 25 okay then 5 came It also given as one module of five five mod four equal to one. So again, I have to place here the five is five has to place in the slot one because we are using division of modulo method. So here there is a problem. Let's see what is the problem. Already twenty five is in this location, so I have to put this five in hash table. This is the hash table, so I have to put this five in hash table. So how I can put this five in hash table? So those here it is. This is called collision. This is called. collision why it is collision card already one entry is present in hash table location if some other entry also pointed to that end that same location which is not empty so we can say that as that number as collide or collision collision happened so we have to put this five in some empty location in the table so for this case it is having three empty slots so how i can put this five in the empty slots so i have to using collision resolution techniques in collision resolution techniques i have two more methods one is chaining and other one is open addressing so in 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 chaining what will happen we'll see very easy so we have case of 25 five these are keys okay so now chaining i have list of four right 0 1 2 3 okay so now M is four. My M is four. My M is equal to four. So now twenty five percentage by four equal to equal to one. So I am putting this in location one. Twenty five. So this address is some thousand. Make it some thousand. so i will put this address inside the exact location okay so now 5 came 
again one cap. But see, what happened? We are using chaining technique. So in one, already 25 is there. So we are attaching that to 25. Okay. So you call this as some 1025 address. Now one more number came. That is 35 percentile by 4 it, which gives 3 so I can directly find this 35 some 2000 some address anything so you will put that address in inside this box this is chaining so we are avoiding collusion using any one of the, these techniques now in coming lectures we will discuss more about chaining this is just to understand why it is storing outside not inside so what is the inside storing how it is inside storing so in chaining we always store the values outside the hash table but we will keep uh, address inside the hash locations so collision resolution techniques are mainly two types one is chaining and other is open addressing in again open addressing is divided into three parts and one is linear probing and quadratic probing and double hashing so we will see why it is storing inside and how these methods used see this is the hash table Okay, so for example, we will take again 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 25, 4 which gives 1, so I can put 25 here and again 5, equal to 1, now see, again 5 came, so where I have to put this? I came. So, I have to put it here, here, here. I have three empty slots for this file. So, now I am putting this file into this slot 5. Why? Because I am using linear probing. What linear probing, probing is saying? If you come across this particular location, if it, it is not empty, go for down. If it is empty, put that number in that location. If it is not empty, go down. This is linear probing. Like that quadratic probing and double hash. Discuss more about in coming lectures.